Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. We are still on the gist from the palace of Uni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe, okay? And turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new content. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. So, we heard that uh, Uni have... You know, if you have been following this gist, you notice when... Uh, you remember when it was said that Queen Naomi bought a house in Lekki. And... Uh, she now moved some of her things from the house in Akure to that lake that somehow she has partially packed out of uh, the house in Akure that she now lives in uh, the house in Lekki. That most times she returns to Akure on weekends because of her ministry. So, and you know that uh, that Akure house, that most times Oni of Ife used to send his men or people around to monitor Quenomi's movement. And most in most times, um, uh, most times they will come back telling him that uh, the house is locked, not knowing that maybe this has been the days that uh, Quenomi uh, was staying in Lagos. So, and to this only, he believes that uh, it must be a man that bought that house for Quenomi. And for a man to buy such a big house, a big mansion, for a woman, it means that there is something going on. And from what we are hearing, we heard that uh, there is really a man in Naomi's uh, life. And the possibility is, there is this possibility that he might be the one that bought the house. Then, again, it could be possible that when Naomi uh, bought the house for herself, too. Because questioning the... Uh, outcome as in how the money comes uh, for her to buy such a house is somehow belittling to her because she happens to be a, a big woman on her own and you know people love her so much so uh, it, it was said that ever since Oni noticed that uh, she had moved partially to that house with Tade Nikawo that he has not been has in himself that since then he has been threatened uh, uh, as on, he have been worked up, always been angry about the whole issue. So recently, it was said that uh, uh, he have called Queen Naomi to choose a house in Lekki so that she and the uh, Tadenikawo will move into the house. That when uh, any house that she chooses, that he is going to pay for it. Reason because he don't want his son. To be in a in a house that another man bought, because according to him, he believes strongly that it it must be a man that bought the house for Queen Naomi. But on the other hand, Queen Naomi have told him that, "Come rain, come shine, I don't have anything to do with you again. I am done with you. I am done. You are now in my past. I have a new and comfortable life that I enjoyed now." That I'm enjoying now. So please don't come between me and that uh, 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 good life. So he keeps saying that uh, uh, he don't want his son to be in that new house. But my question is this. What if, what if Queen Naomi is the one that bought the house? What if it is another man that bought the house? And some people we are saying that Queen Naomi is a virtuous woman. Who knows what she wants? And... Uh, She's also a, a good woman who will not allow men to use material things to get her. That if possible, if it is true that is a man that bought this house for her, definitely that should be a man that she have made up her mind to live with or stay with. And in the other hand, we have been hearing that uh, she now have a man in her life. As in a serious one that she has been settled that the only thing that is still keeping her is that uh, traditional stuff that Oni have been using to hold her down. So that is why she has been crying out to him. Release me. Let me go. Free me. I've given you all my time. I've given you chances to make amends. I loved you. But now the love is no more there. And like I used to tell you. If a woman falls out of love with you, it will take God's intervention for her to love you back. And in this case now, 
due to all that uh, when Naomi had passed through in the hands of Oni and the, the uh, women in the palace, she had made up her mind that she no do again. Anything that comes from these people, she is tired of it. She don't want their presence. She don't want their gift. She don't even want their house. Because she knows too well that uh, this man is capable of buying uh, that house in 10 foot. But she went ahead to buy, buy it with her money or to accept it from anyone that bought it for her if it is a gift too because we are not sure. So but uh, Oni have been threatening as in he has not been himself. No matter, he said that he will never be alive to see Tadenika uh, being trained by another man while he's still alive. And again, she, he keep making claims on uh, when Naomi saying that she is still her wife, that husband and wife do have problems, that there is no marriage without crisis, but still, most cases, they settle. But he should also understand that there are many marriages too who have crisis and they couldn't settle and they were, uh, they divorced happily and everyone went his or her uh, separate ways. So in this case, the best thing for him to do is to let this woman go so that the baby will not suffer. There's a situation that he will put this woman in, in, in a bit to bring her back to the palace. It will become another problem on its own. She has suffered enough. A lot of people have been telling him, let, let, let her go. Free her. Let her move on with her life because this thing is too much. And she have made it so clear that come rain, come shine, that he, he, she is not coming back to you. So telling her to pick a, pick a house that you are going to pay, you know she's not interested in your house. Guys, that is what I think. I don't know what to think about the whole thing. But people keep saying that uh, Queen Naomi should go back to her husband, that uh, there is no marriage without crisis. The, that uh, the king loves her so much. No doubt the king might love her, but if you love someone, there are some people that can manage, uh, no matter, uh, they will be in a marriage where they will be enduring and smiling. But there are some people that cannot do that. And Queen Naomi is one of those that are, that are fed up with such life, suffering and smiling. And she should be let, she, she didn't do any, uh, she did not commit any crime by accepting to marry Oni. And as it stands now, the marriage is not working. The best thing for him to do is to let her go. As for the child, definitely she will take good care of him. Because she, he is her offspring. Guys, I don't know what to think. Whatever you think about this whole thing, please do well to share it on the comment section. Okay, Don't forget that all this information are all alleged. We are not living in the palace. We did not hear from them. So it's not a first-hand information and should be treated as such. Thank you once again for your support. Uh, see you in my next video. Bye for now. Love you guys.